This little baby is gonna be a centerpiece in your table for your next Christmas roast. As a part of our Christmas special, I'm gonna do a stuffed baked Christmas uh, pumpkin or squash, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna have dried fruit, kale, it's gonna have quinoa, it's gonna have everything hipster and awesome in there. So let's get cooking. All right, so we're gonna make our stuffing first and it consists of mushrooms, some onions, some garlic, some chili and some herbs. I've got some thyme, you can use rosemary. So a little glug of olive oil. In with our onions, our garlic, our thyme and our chili. So we're just gonna fry that off till it's tender. So once the onions and garlic are cooked and they've gone tender and translucent, tr tr translucent like you said, mushrooms go in. Chop that fine, we'll cook them down, same thing, till they're cooked and ready. All right, so here we've done a bit of cheating. We've just boiled some chickpeas, some quinoa, and some pumpkin together. Um, we've got plenty of cooked quinoa and chickpea recipes on our other videos and blogs, so just check out bonaharvest.com or just check out our old videos. But it's a quick method, I like to cook it ahead of time, have it in the fridge ready to go for a week. Just speed things up. I'm gonna go in there. Now dried fruits, dried nuts, and some cinnamon. Just gonna break the cinnamon stick up in there. Alrighty, so chuck them in there. The more the merrier, is what I say. So you, didn't, you didn't crush those nuts up or anything like that? No, I mean you can chop them. I was going to chop them, but I figured, you know what, it's all going to be stacked and packed inside, you know, the cavity of the pumpkin itself. So it's all going to be held together. And I think, you know, if you keep it whole, when you slice it, you get more definition. You can see all those different layers, which I think is kind of cool, you know. So just bring that together. Just on a low heat. mix through. I was going to turn that down uh, to as low as it possibly can go and then I'm going to slice this up and I'll show you how to prep the pumpkin. Okay so um, when you're working with you know rounded shapes and you're using knives it's always good to just cut off a flat surface to make it easier for yourself to work with so when you leave the kitchen you leave with all ten fingers. All we're going to do is we're going to cut the pumpkin straight in half and then center it out. So with a knife hand on top of the blade, I'm just going to push it through, grab a tea towel, hold it, and then just force the knife down. It's the safest way to cut it in half. I'm going to scrape out the centre, so just use a spoon and just scrape around it. We're going to scrape out this flesh just using a spoon, so, so stick your spoon in there, work it around, and then just lift it up and just pop it out. So your nuts, pumpkin, quinoa, chickpeas, all the dried wow. fruit. Okay, so the kale itself, like the quinoa and the chickpeas, I've just pre-prepped. Um, super simple, hot water, uh, hot salty water. I've just chopped it off, chucked it in the water, pulled it out. So I've just been blanched really quickly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the inside of the pumpkin. So when you slice it, you're going to have your beautiful, you know, orange, wicked squash or pumpkin, nice and green circles, and then like, you know, the different colors, the nuts right in the center. So it's gonna be delicious and so cool. Okay, so literally just really pack it in there as much as possible. So, you know, grab a spoonful and then just push it right in. So squeeze it all the way through. And once again, it's gonna push the kale to the base, the kale to the sides. And then when you bake it, the pumpkin's gonna shrink and it's all gonna come together and really stick nice and tight. So, bit of twine. Just chop off as much, much as you got there, like a meter, two meters. <sighs> I've got way too much. Is how much I've got? Right. As much as you need for one pumpkin. Three, uh, two, two one. one. Squish. Twine. Just meet it in the middle. So grab each end. Hold your pumpkin with the other hand. Just like that. And then tie it tight. And then wrap it over. That, just like you would your porchetta or any other sort of trussed meat and then bring this one underneath here and then tie it off and it's really just to stop it from falling apart like that roll him over and tie him in the middle so just put him on a pan on that little flat area chuck him in the oven half an hour 40 minutes enough time to have a few beers all right, so that's been about 35 minutes and she is ready to rock and roll. And this is what you're after. Have a look at that. Soft, tender, 
truss together, stuffing's there. Man, that's epic. Slice him open and see what we got. Straight down, just like you would a roast. How good does that look? And that's it. My epic Christmas roast pumpkin. It's got all the trimmings, it's got all the goodness, it's all healthy. Turkey's so 2014. This is where it's at.